communicating. It looks like. Uh, two, two young males that are just, it's not a serious fight. Um, I think these two males are probably testing each other more than anything else. And again, as I mentioned, you know, this is all, all part of the learning curve for them. They, this is how they challenge each other. They learn their strengths, their weaknesses. And when they get to a stage where they are dominant and ready to mate with females, then they will have to challenge males to be able to mate with different females from different herds. So all of this is a process that has to be done and has to be gone through. This slightly smaller one backing off a little bit. We've had great elephant interaction this morning. Yeah. This one Definitely lost that battle, it looks like. <laughs> that raising his trunk. I think that one at the bottom is possibly smelling. Yeah, they still will often raise their trunks like that if they do pick up on the scent of something. Oh. One stumbled a little bit. Some great go-away birds at the water's edge. Let's see, come on, come and drink for us. There we go. Oh, wonderful. James Richard has asked a question about when a bull elephant goes into must. James would like to know about that fluid which is secreted from the temporal gland and if it is changed during that period of must, um, the, the consistency of it and, and, um, and the hormones. James Richard, yes, definitely, um, it would change. Generally with the males though, they only sweat and, um, and secrete liquid from their temporal gland when they are in must. So generally it would, it would be made up of a lot of hormones, a lot of testosterone. That is what that gland is secreting over there for the, for the males. I think with the females it may be slightly different depending on the, on the, on the situation that they are in. I mentioned earlier and we saw that on the female early this morning she was secreting that's possibly just also a lot of hormones um, occasionally they will do it in a state of uh, of euphoria or in stress so it does vary and it does depend but I think with males generally it stays stays the same it's when they are a heightened sense of testosterone and, and a lot of hormones and that's when they, they come into must and you notice how those elephants would suck up the water with their, t with their trunks and then spray it a little bit then suck it up and spray it. They will often do that because elephants are quite fussy drinkers. They, they like to have clean water. So they will suck up the water, spray it and try and get the cleaner water coming through and get some of the dirt away and they will drink that water. Okay, I think James, I don't think, I know, James has gone